Hey everyone, it's Colby here and today if you are a subscriber to my channel, you probably saw the news already or in my Discord, I immediately posted about the Void Rush coming tomorrow. So now we have the in-game news guys from 8 a.m. tomorrow, Friday, March 27th to 8 am utc monday march 30th so the weekend we're doubling your chances of receiving legendary and epic champions from void shards guys uh, we've been waiting for this for so long um i actually didn't save as many void shards as i would like because i tried to farm for try to summon for sifi uh, i couldn't do it it was a trap uh, but yeah, I've, I've got some voids. I might buy a pack tomorrow depending on my luck But I know that others are gonna summon and if you're gonna summon guys you want to know the top five legendaries or the top five um, Void epics that you want to get uh, in terms of your summons So let's go through them right now and, and see which ones are the top five legendaries and then top five epics in my view So first up the banner lords. I don't think there's anyone in there that's in the top five but if we go to the high elves, of course, we've got Arbiter Health herself. She's definitely in my top five, guys, because once you get her, your account immediately goes to the next step forward. So Arbiter has an amazing set of skills. She's got four skills right here. She's got a speed boost. She's got a revive that's also a speed boost. She removes buffs and she also applies a weekend. Her aura is one of the best in terms of giving you speed for the arena and her speed is at 110. So overall, she's an amazing champion. Once you get her, it's game changing so uh, i do think she's in the top five in terms of void legendaries and if you do get her she's gonna have a spot in almost all of your teams even for the clan boss even though like all of the clan boss teams are usually uh counter attack teams there is a team using arbiter and apothecary those are speed teams uh, that boost your team's speed and then you do way more damage through that next up of course we're gonna have the sacred order and and who else to be in the top five than venus the one i did manage to get one day that i just opened a random void chart i was incredibly happy to get her she's an amazing champion i think she's the best champion overall in the game not because i have her okay because i have her <laughs> but yeah guys uh, i do think because of her a2 she does apply a decreased defense and weekend uh, for two turns it's a three turn cooldown this is an amazing skill to have uh, for a champion her a3 applies an hp burn her a1 applies a poison if you also have uh cupid is in there she gets an extra skill she's got a amazing speed at 112 so if you do get venus it's gonna be game changing again this is how i set my top five guys really if a champion is game changing meaning uh, he takes your uh, team to the next level in the dungeons in arena in the clan boss that's game changing for me uh, and if he takes it to more than two places that's top five for sure and venus yeah it's in the spot right there because campaign dungeons arena clan boss she's everywhere faction wars yeah she's everywhere so next up in my top five it's gonna be Krisk the ageless guys uh not everyone has this champion and uh, this champion is relatively new he was added a few patches ago uh, i can't remember which one but yeah Krisk the ageless i do think that he's a top five void legendary champion he's especially really good in arena offense and defense because of his skill set uh, even his passive is amazing every one of his skill set is really great his defense look at that 1520 defense so high it's incredible uh, you can use him everywhere again he's gonna carry you through the dungeons in my opinion through the clan boss and of course in arena he's gonna be the one that makes your enemies suffer uh, so let's look at <laughs> number four and number four guys in my opinion uh by the way the top five is not in a specific order but yeah number four is warlord and the meaning for this is uh because of his a1 so warlord a1 attacks one enemy has a 25 percent chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs on the target by one turn you put in warlord in a counter attack uh team and immediately you get an increase in the duration of your debuffs of course you need to book him up you need, he needs at least four books to be effective but then again when you get a top tier legendary you put in every single book that you have uh, and it's gonna be game ch changing for your team not only he's great for the clan boss but he's also great for the arena because of his shield in a2 and his a3 that attacks all enemies uh, and puts their skills on a cooldown once you have it fully maxed there's also a chance to deplete the Termiter. so i mean what else do you need from an arena champion he's great in both the clan boss and arena 
So guys, uh, probably you know which one is gonna be number five. It's a new champion, totally new champion. She's in a dead horde, a support champion, Sifi, the lost bride. The one I tried to summon with all of my void shards. I couldn't do it. She's great when you take her in with Rotos in the arena she's also great in the clan boss she's great in the dungeons she's a top tier champion look at this speed guys 114 speed i'm not sure if that's the highest but it's very high amount of speed to have it as a basic speed for a champion put her in all speed sets put her as fast as possible she's gonna be so so incredibly annoying for your team she does have a revive she also has a great synergy with rotos she heals uh, allies by 15 percent of their max hp at the start of their turn this is very annoying especially uh, in the arena and also she has a 40 percent chance of removing freeze and fear debuffs from each ally at the start of their turn so if you do have an enemy torment in there she basically helps you negate his uh, freeze effects so yeah i do think she deserves a spot in the top five she should She's a really brand new uh, Void champion. This is why she only has 261 reviews and almost everything is at not 5 but 4.9 which is still 5 in my opinion. Of course these are very low amount of reviews but anyhow I do think she's in the top 5 uh, of Legendary Void champions. Now that we're through our top 5 for Legendary Void champions we're gonna go through the top 5 epics that you want to summon tomorrow that we're gonna have the double uh, raid for summons so let's go in the Oakland tribes you're gonna look at Maniter. Maniter, he's an amazing champion because of his skill called ancient blood he provides an unkillable buff and blocks debuff buff on all allies for two turns he's even used in uh, unkillable teams right now you need uh, three Maniters for the unkillable team to work but still it works you can two key ultra nightmare when you have three Maniters so if you do get three tomorrow then he's gonna be great I do think he's a top five he really helps uh, helps you go through the dungeons because he really helps negate the damage of the waves and also the bosses through his unkillable buff uh, on your allies uh, this is a top reason for him to be the top five so let's look at uh, the next one in my list it's gonna be of course seer i don't have either of the two that i mentioned now this is why they're in the top five because i don't have them but yeah seer uh she's an amazing champion if you've seen Stu gaming's video his seer is clearly insane she clears the waves in just just like this in one second uh, with her use of karma burn this removal all buffs from allies and enemies then attacks all enemies she can use in the dungeons she can be used in the arena of course she cannot be used in the clan boss because she wouldn't be that effective inflicts less damage to bosses right in the end there uh, it would be insane if she did that much more damage to the bosses but still she can be used uh, to do really 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 fast speed runs for the dungeons and help you through the arena as well especially when you're against a team that's heavily uh, buffed and makes you like want to just quit the match right there so uh seer is again in my top five next one in the top five for void i think guys i would say paidma of course paidma it's a very old void uh epic she's been here i think before i even started playing so she's not a new void uh, epic but the reason for this is <laughs> her a1 attacks one enemy two times if this attack is critical has a 85 percent chance of placing a 50 percent extra attack debuff on all enemies for two turns this is great for the campaign and also for the clan boss not only you don't need any books for this to be effective since uh the 50 percent decrease debuff will apply to the enemy at a very high chance even with just using masteries and no books it's going to be a very high chance to apply it but still it's a two hitting a1 and does apply a decrease attack when you use her in the dungeons she's going to make your runs way more easier because every one of the enemies is going to be hitting that that much less and this is very effective when you have a skill like this on your a1 and it's not based on a cooldown because you have more chances to apply it when you apply it consistently there's more chance for you to progress through the waves and reach the boss so this is the reason i think she's in the top five 
of course she has an aoe and her a2 and her a3 this is a very hard hitting uh, attack this is based on defense so you you go with her with a lot of defense you can also use her in the clan boss and she does uh, a very good amount of damage uh, to the boss as well so uh the next up in the epic list is gonna be of course madam series madam series i do think she should be something like a legendary uh it, somewhere in between of course her graphics are amazing she was introduced to the game uh, during halloween uh, and the reason for her to be in the top five is because of her skill set guys uh look at this guys removes all buffs from enemies this is a crazy move Plays a 50% decrease attack debuff and a 60% decrease defense debuff on all enemies for 3 turns. This is a 3 turn duration. When you give her just 2 books, she's going to be a 4 turn cooldown for a 3 turn duration debuffs. Of course, a decrease attack and a decrease defense debuff is crazy to have on enemies. But also her, her first part of her skill removes all buffs from enemies. This is also very great. Uh, and since she's a void, she will never have a chance for her A1 or her A2 uh, to have a weak hit. Also, her A2 is really annoying in the arena because she places a true fear debuff for one turn on enemies who have uh, buffs stolen. So when you steal buffs using your A2, she's going to also place a true fear debuff. True fear debuff is really uh, annoying in the arena. If you don't have something to remove debuffs from your allies, then you're going to be in trouble. If you don't have a way to block debuffs, again, you're going to be in trouble. So when I do find a fast Madame series, I'm in real trouble in the arena. So she's in my top five. And also because I do not have her, <laughs> I'm really hoping for a summon tomorrow uh, to be lucky, at least to get a few of the epics that I need. Maniter, um, the one I'm going to talk about next, <laughs> Seer, uh, and of course, my answers. So, um, yeah, next one in the top five, guys, is of course Skull Crown. She's the one I've been hunting since I don't know when, since we had the 10x for her. I've been trying to get Skull Crown, at least one Skull Crown to say that I have Skull Crown. It seems that everyone else has Skull Crown, and she's been the pain uh, in my existence in the arena since I've started like. Uh, fighting in the arena every single day doing at least 25 fights every single day uh, because of her uh, unkillable this is so annoying places an unkillable buff on this champion for one turn every time the hp drops below 20 percent basically you can't kill her and when you can't kill her she's eventually gonna take a turn her attacks are so strong when you um, put in as much critical damage as possible and critical rate her attacks are so strong uh, she's gonna possibly destroy your team with her aoe's and she'll she'll be the last one standing and win the arena fight of course this does not apply for high-end platinum but she's also used in some uh, high-end platinum teams to clear out uh, teams she's not used for defense but she's used in the offensive teams um overall i do think she's an amazing champion and, and i wish i have her she's in the top five in my opinion uh, for void epic here guys we're gonna have an honorable mention of another two epics that i have uh, in my mind one of them is golden reaper uh, because of her a1 attacks one enemy has a 30 percent chance of decreasing the cooldown of one of random ally skills so when she uses her a1 she decreases the cooldown of your ally skills by one turn uh, so this is very cool it's a very cool skill i do think she's the only one that has something like this on her a1 and it's 50 percent chance uh when you book her up so i really do like this uh, and her other skills like the speed boost and the speed buff that she applies uh, and also i do like whisper when you get her in a relentless set she can be insane but yeah it really means that you do have a very good set a uh, very good re relentless set to take her in she can be used in the dungeons and the clan boss but i don't think she's a game changer since uh, she takes a lot of books to skill up so uh, yeah the top five for both legendaries and epics uh, in my opinion is this if you do have some other champions in your mind for the top five legendary void or top five uh, void epics uh, then leave it down in the comments guys of course subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you tomorrow when we do have the 2x uh, on voids i'm gonna do summons for a lot of people so be sure to check out my channel i'm gonna do lots of summons and hopefully someone gets really lucky uh, we're gonna have some fun thanks a lot guys i'll see you in the next one see ya